Hey you guys, it's me and welcome back to my channel. Um, I did have a lot of things that I wanted to go over today, but I actually have got a lot of people that hit me up and they want me to do like some background about my life. So that's what I'm going to try to do today, but I'm going to try to like condense it into a smaller version without like taking up a lot of time because I know you guys don't like to watch those super long videos. So let's see i got a few note cards here with me today so i won't forget anything and i'll stay on topic so so i grew up in a place called walker county if you ever heard of it you heard of it if you haven't visit you know if you don't want to that's cool too it's um it was pretty chill nothing really ever happened you know what i'm saying i was never in any like Gangs or none of that. Everything was pretty down home, I guess. Uh, I don't know. My earlier life was pretty boring. Like I didn't never, I didn't really do much as a kid. I was like bullied a lot. Um, I didn't really do much. I was kind of a weird kid to shut in. Like I watch movies and stuff, and like I don't know. Weird shit. Anyway, I've been an introvert since I was like seven years old. So. But around the time I was in ninth grade, I think it was that summer. That summer I was going into 10th grade. I was like, you know what? I'm tired of sitting in the house. I'm tired of this, tired of that. Whatever. I think that summer I was like, you know what? Because back then I was like, I was really like, well, I wasn't that big, but I was, I was. Heavy. Um, I had decided, you know what, I'm tired of doing and being whatever it is that I felt like at that time. I felt mostly just empty, I think it was. And I wanted to feel something more. I wanted to experience, I think, what all my friends were experiencing. Everybody was having so much fun, and I just felt like, I don't know. I felt like I wasn't included a lot of the times. Not by my friends, but just like by, maybe it was just, just something in my head. Stop. Alright, so I lose the weight. Um, I go back to school after that summer. Everybody's like, wow, wow, wow. You know, I felt like I felt a lot of praise at that time. And I think it was in that moment where I realized like, yeah, I want to be a star. I want to be iconic. So that's when I kind of started molding and shaping and growing like my appearance and my personality and not really changing myself, but more so being more open about who I am. So after that, 11th grade rolls around, still not really figured out who I am but I'm starting to get there. But I think it might have been a party or I might have just been hanging out with a couple of my friends. But we had actually started freestyling and I, for some reason, I've always wanted to sing. I always thought I could sing pretty well. So that's always been what I wanted to do. But I don't know, it was just like that one night. It was crazy. It was like the words just... They just flow out of me for some reason. I I love it. It makes me feel so alive. And so in that moment, it was my turn. One of my friends had just went and it was my turn. And I'm like, all right. I had never really rapped before, but I'm like, all right, let's do it. They put on the beat and I go crazy. Like it's bananas. And like, I just remember thinking like, Damn, you can really rap. Don't tell them you don't rap though. <laughs> like, don't tell them you don't rap. <laughs> Everybody was, yeah, they was feeling it. And um, it was then that I knew like, okay. Cause like at this point, like my, my voice was changing and like I was a late bloomer. So my voice was changing and 
Like I, I couldn't really sing like I used to, or like I thought I could at least. So like the rapping, I was like, all right, maybe I could be a rapper. So I started pushing my pen and like writing and stuff like that. And like a couple of years roll around, graduate high school. I don't really do much with the music then. I get in like my freshman year in college and I meet a lot of dope people. And like, that's the year that I met like so many people that were doing music and had just wanted to make it and grind. And I thought to myself like, nah, I'm not even gonna be able to compete like that. Like I got down and it was like, I made one song, I did that. And it, it, it didn't it didn't get what I thought it would. So that kind of just turned me off to the music and I thought, well, I'll just focus on school. All right, so I'm focusing on school at this point. I'm trying to get it together. Cause I mean, let's face it, like I, I want my grandma to see me graduate college. I want everybody to see me graduate college, you know? And it was in that moment that I thought about it and it was like, I want all of these people to see me graduate but do I even care about graduating? And I do. I do want to graduate. And I am going to graduate. I am graduating soon, actually. But it was also then that I thought, as miserable as I was in a life of doing nothing that I wanted to, why would I actively pursue that? And with that, I mean, like, I don't really want to be in some office or at a desk or working fucking lunches through dinners. I don't want to do that doing something that I hate. I want to be great. And since that young age, when I realized that I wanted to be great, I never really thought that it was possible. I always thought it was just like a fantasy. And I think it's been here in this last year that I've had so much positive happen for me actively doing what I want to do in life that it's really catapulted me to stages, like each different stage. And like right now, I don't know what it is and I don't know the feeling. And like, I know I rapped about like, I'm gonna clarify that I do not have a record deal, you guys. That's just that's just rap. I don't have a record deal. So if that's why you're here, I don't have a record deal. So um, right now I'm just going off strength and face and like trying to do what I can to get my music out because it's honestly great. And if you can hear it in the background, it's it's great music. I just I feel like the audiences that it's been connected to so far haven't given it the chance that it needs. And right now, that's what I'm trying to figure out as far as my life on how to get my music into a position to where people are open ears and open arms and able to receive it like it should be received. But I do love the feedback and the responses that I've been getting so far. And I'm really grateful for the people, the people that I have in my life and like in my corner that are sharing it with their friends and listening to it and playing it and everything like that. And that's something that I didn't even imagine could happen. And if we're being honest, like I spent a lot of time like avoiding doing what I love or what I feel like I love, which is music, because I felt like it would get a negative impact from people. But in actuality, it it actually went better than I thought. And again, I just want to thank everybody who is listening to my music. And if you're watching this video, I want to thank you for that too. And just check out my videos in the future. This one I'm about to get ready to wrap up because I've got to get some things done today. But check out some of my future videos. And I'm going to go more in depth about life stuff and my music and how it affects me. So... Yeah. Bye. <laughs>